about 98% of the houses dotted across this community have been deserted. All the occupants have fled to Ghana because of the recent attacks on them. A community full of life has now been deserted by many. Almost all the residents, especially women and children, have run to border towns in Ghana to seek asylum. Awen Songeti Wari is a pastor here. He, together with some few friends, have decided to stay. The father of two has, however, moved his wife and kids to Zebila in the Boku West district. He has moved all his family, the rest of the family, to Zebila. And then he's here alone because of the those that he's taking care of. He would have wished to also join them, but because of those who are lying and cannot move, and then he's also a man of God, if you are to protect people, and you are rather running away from them, what would be the, the reward? So it's better for him to stay and take care of them. He admits the community is currently unsafe for his family. It's because of the insecurity that he has decided to leave some of the children and then the, the other people living here to that place. So that you, that place, Zebele is safer. Anani Akudende shared his encounter with the suspected jihadist. They said they were here in the one evening, and then the jihadists, they came. When they came, they came and told them that, yes, they are here not to take their life, but here to warn them, to tell those who are having the guns, to better return the guns to the Muslim government, or else, when they come back, they will not spare them. Schools in this community have been shut down for now. Less than 50 out of the over 1,000 residents here have fled and seeking refuge in Ghana. Until residents are assured of their safety in this area, most of them may not return anytime soon. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3 News, Abugiri, Burkina Faso.